for the uninitiated, or the blind or deaf. This is Millennium Blade of Mikula. And And I have never known defeat. Thank you. And she'll remind you of that fact, but God gives their hardest battles to the strongest soldiers. But let's be honest. He might have missed the mark on this one, but I won't give up. Frank won't give up. We have to do this for Dragon Coon. After some deliberation, I came to the arena with a plan of attack, which is to change nothing and just keep doing what I've been doing. You know what they say, adaptions for the weak willed. Okay, she's doing the grab. I uh, think, uh, think I'm doing pretty good. Throw the dagger. There we go. She's doing waterfowl dance. Look at her. Flail like a fucking idiot. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Look at that opening, dude. Oh, the bleed. Fuck. Okay. There she is. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. There we go. Jump attack. Oh, fucking, that was a pitiful jump attack. My god. Oh! Ah, yep, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was not a chance that I was surviving that one. Let me try one scimitar. So oh, well that works. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Now she's doing her dumb dagger move. Okay. Ooh, posture break! I didn't capitalize on it. Hold on. And look at that. Oh, God, dude. Fucking easy mode. Fucking gamer in the flesh. Okay. And look at that. Dude. I'm in her mind. Bad trade. That was an awful trade. But the bleed, though. Okay. Just doing her scissor move. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, oh you see these dodges? Okay. Oh, I'm close. I'm close. Close to phase two. One more hit, one more hit, she should be good. Okay, around the back. Boom. Okay. Uh, why did the camera do- oh, oh god. Fucking <laughs> damn it. I have, a, I have a funny idea, hold on. Let me, let me try something. She doesn't know what's gonna hit her, dude. She has no idea. There we go, that's what we like to see. Well, you know, it missed. Okay, yes, throw the pot. I'm a, I'm a little bit more equipped now. We got the uh, black feathers, which increases jump attack. So I should be doing more damage now. There we go. Okay. And we're going to hit her into phase two. Weird camera. There it is. Okay. Run at an angle. I'm in her mind, dude. There's no way she can win this fight now. Especially what I got rolled up my sleeve. She has no idea what's coming. It's over here. Come on. Follow me, you stupid AI. Come over here. Let's go. Aw, yeah. This is what I call the stair strat. You ready for this? Watch this. Watch this. She's so stupid. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. She just stops her animation whatever swing she's doing if she falls down, so... Come on, you stupid. Come on. Come on, you dumb AI. Oh, fuck yeah. Fall from my trap. Oh, God. Oh, no. You know, I'll just let her get her anger out like she's a fucking infant. And, uh, you know, maybe she'll be uh, good to talk to after that. Oh, look, look at this stupid girl, dude. She has no idea. Her her primitive brain can't understand the, the significance of the stairs. Come over here. Uh, what? Dude, she goombaed me. What? Dude, okay. <laughs> you know what? Screw this. It's time to get the foam finger. Nice. Alright, I'm tired of fucking respecting you. You don't earn it. Okay, charge our twos. Weak ass posture. Weak as fucking posture and weak as constitution. And then the weapon are This was the right choice. Let her get her fucking tantrum out. You know, Melania, come on. Wait for the opportunity. There it is. Oh, God. Dude. And people thought this fight's hard? Come on. This is child's play. All right, this is where shit starts to get a little serious. So, you know, cockiness aside, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. okay. 
dude. In her mind. In her fucking mind. And she's a demigod, bro? No shot. Oh, you left yourself open! There it is. There it is! Let's go! Oh my god. I get an hourglass for my troubles. That, in real life, took me a week. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna have to go through a week of footage. Fuck! Almost forgetting that this is an open world video game because a week of my life is gone. I got my way to the carrying study hall. I put the hourglass on the put the hourglass here platform and the whole building forms. Now, why did it do that? Fuck if I know. I start to descend, ascend, so I spend a good bit throwing daggers at that guy who can only show me how well he rolls. Until, seems like we're, we're in a stalemate, Inaba. Okay, uh, or you could kill yourself. <coughs> Those were indeed some sick rolls. The rest of the study hall wasn't too eventful. Just know I got to the Divine Tower and have absolutely nothing to show for it. With Melania defeated and the study hall pillaged, I decided to go to my next location, the Rune Strewn Precipice. After, guess what? Running past some enemies, I've made it to the base of the precipice. I take a deep breath and start to climb. Dodge some swings, climb, take an elevator. I see an item, take the elevator back down, jump off at the right time, and get the Drake's Knight chess piece. Eh, not worth it. We take the elevator back up, die, redo everything I just fucking said, and finally touch grace. Where I elevator, climb, climb, attempt to deal with a woke giant, only to climb, get a legendary talisman I can't use, die, and have to deal with Mr. Brain Blast again. Climb, climb, one more elevator ride, and finally, I'm at another fog gate. Let's see what the lotto... I literally can't catch a break, can I? What seems to be a blessing has turned into a, a gold-buffed double-edged sword. It's our friend, the final boss of the Elden Beast, showing their oddly phallic head. But... Just because he's trapped in here with me, doesn't mean I'm not the same. Luckily, due to the nature of the arena, some of his moves just don't work. Others can be blocked by this pillar. Thanks, pillar. All in all, it was somewhat a standard fight. I learned a little tell of his. He will always appear behind me when he does the Pearls 100 feet in the air move. Just on time. I murder him and get the iron whetstone blade. <laughs> and I didn't take it too well. So, so you're telling me I kill a fucking god, and I get a pot, and a shitty stone? What kind of bullshit is that? We take the elevator, and who it from? Did I have to piss off to fucking deal with this fire giant everywhere? After that, I set my sights on Landell. Getting to Landell is going to be a long and dangerous ride. So let's set out. I have a little tussle with the Lord of all that is golden. After, I reach the Hermit Merchant's shack, see my unsuspecting victim. Yes, our customer. I chuck their wares. Honestly, garbage wares just like your life. And I start the slaughtering and add another merchant bell to my list. In lighter news, look at these funny guys by this tree. That's <laughs> so wacky. I run by, rob them in broad daylight, and continue forward. Sneaking around, I see the Guardian of Landell. This randomizer loves playing tricks because he will either put five fire giants in a 2x4 boss room and then pull some on brand shit like this. I do that song and dance that you've all come to know very well and begin to duel. Now, I just want to point out that that hitbox was bullshit. But ultimately, I defeat the enemy. And from that, I get the speckled hard tier. I honestly have no idea what it does, but I have it. And now, we continue forth to Landell. Or not. So it turns out I need two great runes to continue to Landell. And I have zero. <laughs> I guess I should start looking. Not that I, not like I haven't been. I've decided that it would be good to try and go into some cave systems to figure this out. I tried the Ayurza Hero's Grave. Waste of time. The Psy Tomb, no results. Gray robbing. Oh, you thought you'd find a great rune in the open, you f stupid idiot. Bleeding out a fucking weeb. Nada. Without so much as a sliver of hope, go to the one place I can think. 
my friend Goldmask, who points me towards the earth tree. Being totally defeated, I follow his finger, and I find a cave where I beat the boss, and by the grace of America, finally acquire it. A great rune. That motherfucker was right, but like seriously, he gonna point me towards Godric's great rune? Like, come on, man. Help a brother out here. Once back at the round table hold, those two big doors finally open up. Normally, I get access to boss weapons and spells, but life isn't that easy. Even these turn out to be random and aren't much to write home about. I splurge a bit because I've earned this, and back out into the world, I venture to the Radon Festival. No Tarnish wants to miss it, it's the Radon Festival in Kaelid, and I have tickets. So I ride towards Redmain Castle. As has been customary in this run, I engage with the open world as little as possible. Once I arrive at the outskirts of the castle, I take the teleporter inside where I'm greeted to a bunch of other friends who are partaking in the festivities. My two favorites are Blyde and Alexander, the great jar warrior. He's a fucking jar. After getting acquainted, I talk to Jaren, the orchestrator of the festival. Before a cutscene can even play, I skip it and descend down an elevator where I take a teleporter to an interesting battle. It's a gargoyle, but again! But there's a funny gimmick. This time, the second one appears, and there's two. I know, crazy, right? I defeated them once. Surely I could do it again. And it totally didn't take me five days of my life. Hey, look, they're dead, and I'm happy. We watched the cutscene of a meteor striking Lindgrave. To be honest, that meteor probably ended the lives of so many flora and fauna. But dude, that's achievement boss off the list. Let's go! But while I was riding that high, I had an epiphany. Since I can't complete their quests, I might as well kill them, right? I mean, they'll drop items that might be beneficial to me in the long run. And just start swinging. He pops like a balloon, and I get utterly useless item. I go for Blyde next. He dies, but there's a problem. That was kind of fucking useless, honestly. Uh, oh! Oh! This didn't matter in the long run. I make my way to Narkron, the Eternal City. A giant crater in the middle of the ground, and they expect me to go down there? I don't get paid enough for this. I don't get paid at all. I travel down and eventually make it to Narkron, an underground Eternal City, whatever the fuck that means. Make my way further into the city proper, where I make it to a courtyard. I spend some time acting like a tourist and continue forth, till I reach a fog gate. Margit the Fell Omen. And honestly, this fight isn't anything spectacular. It's the first real boss of the game, so it's easy, with no struggle. A talisman pouch and an achievement boss off the list, easy game. After that cakewalk, I run through the aqueduct. Nature is amazing. Holy shit, it's redone. Okay, if I just stand still, maybe he's like a T-Rex. He just won't see me. He's coming, he's still, oh God, he sees me. Fuck, fuck, oh my God, oh no. Why did it have to be Radon? Of all the fucking bosses in the game, it really had to be Radon? Oh my- What? Oh, come on. Elmir of the Briar, really? After that, I run through the aqueduct and touch a bit of grass. Here, I once again have to light the pillars. Like the speedrunner, I know I could be. If I just applied myself, I'd do it. And as if stuck in the movie Groundhog's Day, I touch another rotting deer corpse and get transported to another epic arena to fight another epic boss. Loretta, the mage horse rider. She wasn't anything special. Beat her with the finger and obtained... Holy crap. Godric's great rune? I, I, I mean, this is exactly what I needed. This great rune is just perfect for this run because it allows me to literally gain plus five in every stat as long as it's active. Sparing no time, I run to the Divine Tower of Limgrave and activate that bitch. But I wasn't expecting what was on top. God Devouring Serpent and the Ulcerated Tree Spirit both want me dead. As it seemed that I've activated their trap card, I end up dying. Yes, it was dumb to engage. And yes, I should leave. But 24k runes? I go get them and set forth to the royal capital of Lando. Okay, I want to try something. I, I don't know how well this is going to work. I saw in the speedrun, so let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, roll off here. Okay, trick's halfway done. That just feels cool. I, like, it really, it saves actually a decent amount of time, but it just felt cool. 
After that sick display, I rush up and activate the elevator that will take me back to where I once was. Forgetting that this was an item randomizer also, I go the attendant path to see if there's anything of value, and you can guess the answer to that! No! I jump on some rooftops and head to Landale's main road. I take a detour though. I go through the lower part of the city. This is important because there's a lot of goodies that could be found this way. I get trapped by a giant hand, which was a very fun and enlightening experience towards my morality as a man. <laughs> Soon after, I make it to an alleyway where I die. Oh, the game crashed. This could be just a small issue. I restart the game and trek down to where I died and another crash. Fuck, this could actually be bad. Is it the amount of assets and bosses that the game has to render? Once again, I restart the game and go to the location where I was slaughtered but this time I make it through. I travel through the sewers and run through a corridor. I just need to, I just don't wanna aggro anybody. I, no way, no fucking way that worked. And make it to a big area where I pick up some items, climb a ladder and make it to a big dragon corpse. I go back to the main road where I activated the grace and fight a crab and then die to an arrow in the head. <sighs> Splendid, another crash. Landell is fucking cursed and my PC is crying for help, but. All good things need sacrifice, so like Icarus flying too close to the sun, I restart the game and climb that giant dragon corpse. Which, can I add, is fucking sick. After some classical traversal and some base pillaging, I make it to the next grace and hit a weirdly familiar sight. It's the round table hold, but real. I've never been able to understand why this is here. Reuse assets. Whatever. I fight some creatures who invade the hold. I find a grace. I also touch a painting and get a dark moon great sword. But more importantly, we need to get back on track. I walk up these tree trunks, which in theory doesn't seem that bad. But what I've learned is it's always worse than you expect. Having to deal with a plethora of the most annoying enemies on a fucking tree trunk. Through experimentation, which in layman's terms means I'm just running through with reckless abandonment, I make it to the first of two bosses. Phase one, Renala. Wait, who's that? There seems to be a random guy who broke into the arena. After that close call, Ronaldo was a joke. Easy to find in the game. I walk up some more branches and get to the queen's bedchamber, where I prepare for the grueling fight. I walk through the fog gate and watch Margit become Margot, which honestly is an awful pseudo name. And eventually, meet the next roadblock. Okay, Malekith, that's a. That's an interesting pick. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. Why the fuck did I open my mouth? Thank you for watching the video, honestly. If you really enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and honestly, if you want me to keep doing this, leave a comment. You know, I'm gonna keep releasing these videos, um, but it really does mean the world to me to have anyone watch these, so I really appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye.